Hello and welcome back to another Firestorm Games unboxing. This time we're taking a look at some of the, the cursed Space Walls, which are of course the Space Walls Warfen. On the box here we've got five of the assembled miniatures and also some ideas what they look like uh, when they're painted. Flipping the box over here we can see uh, some more close-ups of the miniatures assembled and also a little bit of diagram as to what weapons are which. And at the bottom here we have the standard uh, rough kind of painting guide. So now we've looked at the box, let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. So first of all we have the instruction manual and this shows you how you can assemble your Wolfen and also the pack leader as well. So just opening this up we can see all of the uh, components are nicely numbered, uh, everything's nicely diagrammed so you can see exactly which part fits with which and also if I just flick through to, you can see exactly uh, which weapon options can be assigned to each of the bodies there. So we've got frost axe and the hammers, frost claws on each of the different uh, Wolfen, like so. And right at the back here we have a uh, stat line for the Wolfen and also a couple of different languages as well. Uh, everything you need to know about fielding these guys is uh, featured here. So next we have the bag of bases. Now these are five 40 mil bases for the Wolfen. And finally we have the three sprues. So let's uh, zoom in and get a closer look at these components. So here we have the first sprue, and this features a, a range of different components. So, for example, we've got the uh, frost claws at the bottom. These nice, uh, you can just see there, they're almost like icicles chipped away uh, and protruding out the wrist there. We've got different items, accessories such as these sigils at the bottom there um, with some ammo belt. A uh, few items dotted about, such as we've got blades, we've got uh, various heads. I think there's about 10 heads on this entire sprue, so it gives you quite a lot of choice considering you only get five uh, Wolfen per box set. So you can see here we've got the kind of more standard uh, space wolf head with the mohawks and the braids but then we've also got these guys out here with the giant um, kind of manes of hair protruding out the back of them there. Um, also we've got a few different weapon options so we've got the, the two handed axes here and we've also got the, the, the hammers there as well so I've, you get around about five of each one uh, on the spruce so you can equip all your wolf and with the same weapon. Same goes for the, uh, the frost claws at the bottom as well. So moving on to the next sprue, it's very much the same as the, the previous sprue, we've got a few different options on here, uh, a few different heads as you can see there, we've got one which has got the mohawk and the braids at the bottom there, we've got a few different, another one just there. So the next sprue is slightly different, uh, it features the, uh, the thunder shields as you can see here, the nice kind of iconography, very much similar to the ones that you see on the Space Wolf uh, Terminators, we've got a few more heads here, I assume this is the head for the uh, the pack leader is a lot bigger than the rest of them. Uh, quite like the the power packs as well, just point these out. You can see there we've got the nice uh, kind of wolf uh, protrusions out of the, the exhaust ports on the, the power packs there. And overall, yeah, very nice, uh, very nicely sculpted, very nicely cast as well. Not really much in the way of mold lines on these kits. Um, kind of what we would have come to expect from Games Workshop kits uh, after looking at them in the past. So now that we've looked at the components themselves, let's, uh, let's, get, let's go and get one of these miniatures assembled and take a look at that. And here we have the assembled Wolfen. As you can see, I've gone for uh, the dual frost claws there. Uh, there's plenty of options on the kit, as I've already mentioned. And one of the great things is uh, there's actually quite a lot of room for magnetization if you wanted to switch between the Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, uh, two handed frost action, also the frost claws as well. Uh, there's plenty of options that you can choose from. Assembling the kit was very straightforward, the instructions uh, were all nicely numbered and uh, the components were numbered on the sprue as well, which made things a lot, life a lot easier uh, when looking for components and gluing them together. Now the one thing about this kit which uh, probably does deserve a little bit of criticism is the fact that the, uh, the poses aren't very static, the leg poses are fixed and also the arm poses as well, you can't, there's no ball and sockets, there's no uh, flat surfaces, everything uh, fits in a particular way. Now while this isn't too much of a problem if you've got quite a lot of weapon options in your unit, uh, as soon as you start to use uh, reuse weapon options uh, you're going to start to see a, uh, a lack of poses across multiple units of a Wolfen. However, apart from that, the actual miniature itself is really nicely sculpted. Uh, I do quite like the poses that they come in, even if they are quite limited. Uh, standing, you can see that the Wolfen uh, stands slightly higher than a normal Space Marine, however this is more likely uh, due to his pose than anything else. So now that we've looked at the assembled miniature, let's uh, zoom out and get an overall summary for this kit. So that concludes our look at the Space Wars Wolfen. Now overall the miniatures are very nicely cast, very nicely detailed, really fit that Space Wolf theme uh, perfectly. You can sit these guys in with your normal Space Wolves, uh, they just work really well. Um, some people are a little bit put off by the aesthetic, but I think they work really nicely for the Wolfen. Uh, they're a lot different than the, the previous counterparts, uh, the, re the old versions that came out during the Eye of Terror. These guys are almost um, designed to be Wolf, and they're not uh, just Space Marines with Wolf parts, which the previous Wolfens were, uh, that just kind of succumbed to the, the curse of the Wolfen. These guys are, have 
succumbed to it and they've been given the war gear that makes them uh, much more effective. Now, uh, the one thing I don't really like it is the fact that you are limited on the poses here. The poses that you see here are pretty much what you're going to have to be placing your wolf in, unless you want to do some uh, sculpting with green stuff and chopping and changing of parts. There's not really much in the way you can do that. Apart from that though, it's nice uh, to see a good mix of weapon options. You get the frost claws, uh, you also get the bear claws, not the bear claws, sorry, the uh, just claws that are bear. Uh, you also get the, the thunder shields and hammers as well, so a good array of weapon options to choose from. You also get the, you can just about see there, um, the power pack mounted uh, grenade launcher at the top there as well. So yeah, overall a, a very nice and detailed kit. Now if these guys have piqued your interest and you would like to pick up a set of your own, you can do so by heading over to the Firestorm Games web store. Uh, the recommended retail price for these guys is £35, however they're currently on the Firestorm Games web store for £29.75 and I'll pop a link uh, to the store in the description below. So if you enjoyed this uh, unboxing, do let us know in the comments below and also what kind of uh, systems you would like us to unbox in the future. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.